Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a DIY. It's a little bit of a one, little bit of a one. It's a little one. Um, but I've wanted to do this for ages and I thought today I may as well just do it. So today I made this little like um candy wrapper shaker kind of keychain. It's like a dry shaker, so there's lots of like little beads and stuff in there, like I don't know if you can hear that but they're all like moving around in there as well as some like little baguette boys in there and then we've obviously just got the keychain and yeah i have seen these going around for a long time but they've all like required you to buy some like clear vinyl or to use resin that sort of stuff this is using really basic materials no glue and like that so it may be right up your street if it's something you're looking to do and don't have the materials for then this might be the kind of way that you want to go about it i do think actually in the future i want to get some real keychains made like that like actually in a factory like proper because i really really love them i also love to buy them so i think that maybe i should make some i don't know let me know so yeah i'm just gonna get straight on into today's diy so to make the shaker kind of keychain clear bit you're actually just gonna need some clear plastic to use the clear plastic i'm actually just gonna reuse this um like a pastry box this was from some like croissants or like pan au chocolat something like that which i got for breakfast a couple of weeks ago and i just cut off some of the clear plastic at the top what i then did was i rolled it around into a tube and to keep it into place i just used a couple of staples at the end of the piece so that i wouldn't be able to see them on the actual keychain but it was enough to keep the piece shut you can also glue this or use clear tape to do this if you want to but i found stapling just a little bit easier i had it on my desk and i thought i'd just use that so with the stapler I just stapled it across one end to make sure that it was nice and secure and I cut off any of the excess plastic. I then moved on and cut off a scrap piece of card and I made this like so that it would fit inside of the plastic part kind of as the wrapper on the inside. So I cut it out in blue to begin with and realised that I didn't like it and then I cut it out onto a pink dotted piece of card. I did it too kind of lengthways so that I could fold it in half because I didn't like the other side of this card. It was actually a floral pattern and I didn't want that on my final piece. So I just cut it out like two times the length that it was supposed to be so that I was able to fold it over like so. I then cut this down to size until, you know, it obviously fit back into the clear plastic pouch. To make the barcode of the piece, I actually just took a like scrap piece of paper and a sharpie pen and drew loads of little lines on it, going thicker and thinner just as I went along, and then I sellotaped that to the back of the pink part as well, just so it looked like it had a little barcode on, and then I decorated the back of the piece. Once the back was all decorated, I just moved on and decorated the front as well. I just did this with a black Sharpie pen and this was probably like the worst mistake that I made on this whole thing. I just don't like how the black turned out on the pink. So if I was to do this again, I would use a white paint pen or like paint or just anything like that. Once I had my cardboard insert completely kind of like decorated until I was happy, I then put it inside of the white packet, making sure that it was like facing either way. And then I needed to decide on what I was going to put inside. So I decided to put some tiny little like one to two millimeter beads in. These are just like white pearl beads. And then I used some really chunky like holographic kind of iridescent glitter as well, which I really like. And I just put that inside. I then decided to obviously make this like baguette boy and like carbs theme so I put in two baguette boy charms. I just removed the eye pins from the top. I've basically shown how to make these before. I've shown how to make bigger ones so I thought I wouldn't bore you but they're just polymer clay charms that I took the tops off and I put them inside. 
I then stapled up the bottom of the piece and then to seal in all of those edges I just used some washi tape. I used my own washi tape, I know it's so crazy that I have my own washi tape, I just love it. Um, and obviously I used the carbon to match in with the candy shaker. I made sure to put one piece on one side with the, like, the little characters and stuff facing upwards and then put the other piece on the other side to close up that sticky bit and then I just used um, some scalped edge scissors to cut the ends off you can obviously use zigzag scissors if you have those or just cut it in a zigzag pattern I was gonna zigzag it but then I thought the scalped edge might look a little bit cuter so I just did that instead I cut off the excess of the washi tape either side and then just scalped edge the rest of it so that the top and the bottom bit looked more like the candy wrappers to make this into a keychain rather than just a little charm at this point, I actually took a huge like needle and just stabbed it right through the very top part of the keychain, just in the top left hand corner there, I stabbed it through. It went through really, really easily actually. I thought I was gonna have to like push it really, really hard, but it just went through so simply. Then I just used a jump ring and a keychain just to kind of secure that onto it. So to secure the keychain and the charm together i use the jump ring just squeezing together with the pliers to keep that connected so that it turned into one so this is what the little carbs boy keychain has turned out like close up i thought i'd just give you a little bit of close up the annoying part is i wish that i did this text a little bit different i think i might remake this and actually make that into like a white bubble writing i think that will suit the like aesthetic of this better um I move all the beads out. I really, really love like the little face on there, which is kind of like the Samika Grashi type of yoga. I'm really happy with the pink background. Then on the back, we've just got like the fake little barcode. I also made sure to center my washi tape with the I Love Carbs bit. And I just really, really like the way it looks. Because the baguette boys are quite chunky, they do get like stuck there. If I pinch it like this way, we can move around, like as you can see. Um, but yeah, really, really happy with how it has turned out overall. And that's all i got so that is the end of today's video i hope you have enjoyed it let me know down in the comments if you're going to be making one yourself whether or not i should get some made like properly i don't know i feel like i want to it's a lot of money to invest but i think it'll be fun i don't know i feel like doing lots of things like this recently for my etsy and stuff but yeah thank you so much for watching today if you did enjoy this video then please do give it a thumbs up and i will see you very soon for another one Bye.